you can also paint. Painting is a little more difficult. You can add and subtract different kinds of materials that go inside of here and you can paint, say, a path or some grass or something like that. Now the best way to look at that is if we go to foliage. So let's say I have a little 3D object. It can be a piece of grass, it can be a flower, a tree, it could be rocks, it can be whatever you want. I will drag and drop it in here and that becomes just like the paintbrush we used earlier to make this, except you can create plants wherever you want. Instead of placing every single plant little by little, you can just paint on a whole forest if you wanted to. So if we go back to modes, we can go back to select, and that'll bring us back to our original right here, where we could be placing things if we wanted to inside of this. So I went ahead and added a folder to my project file so that I could add some things. This one I got for free. If you go on Epic Games to Unreal Engine, there's a marketplace where you can find free content you can download. I got this from Megascans. So if you just look here, you have some options that you can look at. Go to 3D Assets. These are all different types of things I can add. But the first thing I want to do is I want to go to Master Materials. These are all materials that they're using in here. And they've named each of them for me, which is nice. So I can look at them and see which one I need. So I'm going to click on the surface that I created, this landscape. And down here, you can go to Default Physical Material and Landscape Material. I'm going to take one of these and you can put it here. It'll show you if you can. It'll light up green or red if it doesn't work. But you can also drag it here if you wanted to release and it should load onto here. Give it a second. Sometimes it has to load. So if we get real close, it'll show you what this texture looks like. This is a tile. So actually I got this from what is called apocalyptic package. So it's urban apocalypse, which is why it's tiles. You should also look at some more of these. You can also, if you wish to adjust one of these, if you double click on it, it will load the shader up, but you can change these in here if you really wanted to and create new materials or change the existing material. This will show you what you have, this tile. For now, let's just say I have this tile and I want to add some plants growing through the tiles. So the best way for me to do that is to go up here to the modes we talked about, go to foliage, find these 3D plants that we talked about, pick one of these, let's say, let's say tall weeds. Pick one of these, let's say I want this one. Drag it up here, give it a second, it's freaked out. So I can select this, that check mark means I have it selected so if I paint, it'll add. Now without adjusting anything down here, I'll give it a little click and see what it does. Get closer, show you. It just added these little weeds everywhere. They don't, I mean, they don't have any material on them right now, which is okay. They look a little weird. There, there they go, they loaded. Now they look okay, they're a little weird. Not quite what we want, so we get rid of those and go over here and you can adjust what kind or and how dense you want it. So let's say I want so many weeds. I can change this all the way up and if I click there, it looks like you just have grass everywhere because I adjusted the density. I can also turn that way down. Let's say 30. That'll only add a few, see? Now, if I don't like what I have, you can also do Control Z, but there's also an eraser that you can use. Just get rid of all these plants if you wanted to. 
You can also do a maximum and minimum height, so you can make the plants that you add bigger and smaller at random, so it'll look more natural. You can also add more plants. So if I wanted, say, some sunflowers, I could go in here and I could pick this dragon. And it's also checkmarked, which means it will also be, and right here, it shows you how many you have in your scene. So let's go to this one. Density is pretty high. Let's make this closer to like 75. We want them, we don't want them to be uniform, we want them to be free. Free means that the size can change so they don't all look the exact same. Minimum, let's make the maximum two. Just make that same for all. You can change all the stats here, but the stats are different than this, but it's still checkmarked. So it will add both of those at the same time if I add something like this. So see? It added both of them at the same time. Now let's say I go back up here to density because that seems like a lot of flowers and change this to 30. Let's see what happens. See a lot less flowers but still a lot of grass because we still have the grass turned up. What if I don't want any grass? See here maybe where I already put grass. Let's go to this check mark here, turn it off, and we can just add the sunflowers if we wanted to. And you can do this for all of the plants. You can turn some off, turn some on. You can save it as an asset in here if you want to use it again. You can do this with trees, grass, weeds, flowers, rocks, just about anything.